everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Pili this channel is all about fashion luxury and lifestyle so if you're into any of those please consider subscribing to my channel so the light in my apartment right now is kind of not lighting it's not doing its thing so if I look weird in the video I mean I'm actually wearing makeup but it's looking so bad because it has been in my face for a few hours now and now I look so bad and the ring light is not doing its thing. Like, I don't know. The light is just not working. So work with me on that. Um, and also, I think you can see like the light doing its... My apartment light is doing like... D -d 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 I need to change the light bulbs and stuff. But, you know, whatever. Um, so today... I have a really exciting video for you guys. So I know I told you I would do the part two of my really huge Aritzia haul. However, um, I came back to Milan and I actually didn't even take everything with me, like everything from Aritzia. So I feel kind of bad, like showing you things that aren't discounted anymore and that maybe aren't even available anymore, you know, like, and anyway, I ordered a lot of things. Like I received a lot of things right now in Milan. So, and I feel so bad like wearing them without showing you first. I don't even know why. Like, I don't know why that happens to me, but I kind of have to film first and then I wear it, you know? So it has been quite difficult for me because I have all these um, boxes laying around in my room and I also have exams, so it's hard for me to film. But anyway, let's just get started. But I swear I will do the Aritzia haul. However, I also have another thing to do. I have to film a Lululemon haul because I was going to include that in this video. However, it got so big that now I'm gonna do a separate video about it. Um, yeah, I mean, it's not that big. It's not like a huge Lululemon haul, but you will see that probably on the next video. Um, but anyway, let's just get started with this. So first let's talk about the Saint Laurent Sunnies that I got. So I don't know if these like brand is available or the I don't even know how to speak English anymore. Okay, I don't know if this brand is available um, somewhere else than Italy, but it's called miaburden.com. And that, this is the place where I got the sunglasses. So I had seen these sunglasses like a few months back and I was pretty obsessed with them, but I thought they didn't sell them anymore. Then I found out they still sold them. Um, on my Teresa, they were like 300 or something euros. And I got them in that place for like 190 or something like that. I don't know. I just know they did have a discount on them. So I'm super happy. And as I told you on one of my last videos or on some of my videos, um, I told you buying designer sunglasses, the best place to buy them is actually on like the sunglass stores because they give you discounts many times. They give you like warranties and stuff like that. So really... It is, it is the place to go to. And by the way, can we look at my nails? Like, okay, whatever. Okay, so yeah, I got the Saint Laurent sunglasses. They come in this really cute case, which honestly, I feel like you're paying more for the case. Like, I don't know if this is real leather, but I feel like you're definitely paying more for the case than the actual sunglasses because they are so small and they're like made out of plastic. So it probably costs like five euros to make this, but these are them. And they're super cute. And actually, the thing that convinced me to get them, I just feel like I have so many like cat eye sunglasses or sunglasses that are kind of in this family range. So I'm like, do I really need another cat eye sunglass? But I saw one influencer wearing them and then I also saw a video of Hailey Bieber. No, 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 a photo on Pinterest of Hailey Bieber wearing these as well. And I was like, okay, like you don't have to just like, gift them to me you know like i'm gonna buy them anyway like wow i love them and i think they're so pretty and i love them in black i don't know i think they're available in white as well but yeah i'm obsessed with them but now the the other thing i wanted to tell you about mia borton is that or mia burden or however you pronounce it um they did not only send me the sunglasses but they also sent this like mini kit which has um like a cleaner for the sunglasses and the liquid thing to put on the sunglasses and then it has this mini screw to be able to screw your sunglasses which i think is actually like the best gift they could give me because wow like no one ever sends this kind of kits 
Um, so again, as I was telling you, don't buy these sunglasses on the store ever. They will never be discounted. Don't get them on my Teresa or Farfetch or anywhere else. Like just get them from the actual sunglass stores and I bet you will get a discount. Like most probably you will. Now moving on into shoes. So actually I have slowly become a non-sneaker girly. Like even though I used to love sneakers and I started collecting a lot of designer sneakers because I just felt like if I was gonna wear sneakers, they better be designer because they are like an elevated version of a sneaker. Um, but then I slowly started turning into no more sneakers. But anyway, um, I actually now only wear sneakers to the gym. And I remember I was quite obsessed with Jordans. And at the time they were like so hyped up and sold out everywhere. And yeah, like they were actually so expensive. Like I only have what, one or two pairs and they were both like quite expensive um, for a pair of like Nike shoes or Nike or whatever. Um, so yeah, I mean, I wasn't really gonna buy any more Jordans. However, I found this once in discount and I was like, okay, like maybe people are over Jordans, but I'm not, like I still really like them. Um, and the ones that I have, I actually wear them a lot. And yeah, like basically both of these shoes that I got were directly from Nike and I um, plan to wear them to the gym. So like, even though I was telling you, I'm not wearing sneakers anymore, like for street style and stuff like that. I mean, sometimes I do, but I'm not planning to wear these like every day, but I do wear them every day for like the gym. So yeah, I'm just gonna show you. So first I got Jordans. Um, I was between these and like the Panda version and I ended up choosing these because I just feel like they're a little bit more fun. So these are them and they're so cute. Um, so yeah, they were like 94 euros, which is like already with the discount. And I mean, as I was telling you, I bought like other Jordans so expensive. One of them were like 500 euros. So I mean, getting them for 94, I honestly feel like it's really good. Um, and yeah, I mean, they might not be like the most fashionable or like the most like the color you can wear with the most of your things as i was telling you i don't even know how to speak english okay it's kind of hard to mix this color with all of my clothes and my active wear and stuff like that but anyway i feel like they're really cute um i hadn't seen on the website that they actually like this part is not white it's more like a light super light purple but i actually think it makes them a little bit more interesting than just like white and purple however now that i look at them i think i would actually prefer it if it was white because it makes it a little bit easier for you to like mix and match but you know whatever and then i got another style which right now i don't really know the name um the nike court royale to me okay also even though i'm not wearing sneakers i am kind of loving high top sneakers right now like i don't know for some reason they are just my vibe or like mid mid sneakers whatever um and i have ones that i actually wear to the gym like every single day i actually have to convince myself not to do it so i ended up getting them but in this like full white version well, it has something here, but you know, this is more like full white. So yeah, I basically wear these sneakers, like the other ones that I have, they have like a green, I mean green. <laughs> they have the tick um, in black and I have to convince myself to like not wear them to the gym every single day. I mostly wear them for like leg and glute days because they are, you know, flat. So you have to wear flat sneakers um, when you do you know, leg and whatever. So I wear them like all the time. I sometimes even wear them when it's like upper body day. So the light is kind of, oh, okay, whatever. Um, Yeah, I'm sorry if the light is bothering you. It's kind of bothering me as well. I hope you don't see it on the video. It's like flashing lights, but it's not my apartment's lights. I don't even know what is going on. Okay, whatever. Um, so yeah, uh, I love wearing these, like the other ones that I have for the gym, but I just feel like I have to give them a break and these are gonna be it. And also because these are like full white, so I just feel like it's a little bit more of a clean look and they are so comfortable. Like you have to wear them in a little bit and also like make the laces more, 
like, I don't know, untie them a bit so that they're actually comfortable. Now, moving on to Reformation, I actually got this dress from the sale they had. Um, I don't think this is available anymore or I don't think that sale is going on anymore either. But anyway, well, you can see the tag kind of ripped up, but whatever. So I got this green dress, which is made out of, I believe, cashmere or yeah i mean i'm pretty sure it's made out of cashmere so anyway i got it in a size medium even though i'm an extra small because the extra small and the small were not available in my size um but it had a discount so i was like actually i'm gonna buy this thing and maybe i put it in the wash and it shrinks but anyway i took it to the tailors so actually this part right here was not there before because i mean this did not fit me at all because it was like two sizes no two sizes up yeah because i'm an extra small and this was medium so it was pretty big for me so i did have to yeah get it tailored from here so they added this detail but it used to be like seamless style and then i also had to seam like the this part because it was really long they actually didn't actually cut it they just put it like inside which I don't really like, but you know, whatever. Um, but yeah, it's a long dress. Like it's really, really long and it has a slit. You will see on the try on. It's super cute. Like I just really wanted like a long or midi dress, but like winter version, because if you know me, you know that I love dresses. So I was really looking for like an elevated cashmere dress, you know, not from Sarah, not from H&M, like, actually like good quality so this was it and it had discounts so i just got it and then another thing from reformation that i got so i don't know if you saw my video of black friday but i actually got something from reformation as well i got the tas maxi skirt with like the little thingies on it and i told you that the jeans were available but i wasn't gonna get them in that moment because they're actually pretty expensive like well kind of expensive um the skirt was also expensive <laughs> but i think i actually rated something on reformation and they gave me like a 10 percent discount so i was like okay wait a second like i'm getting a 10 percent discount so i'm just gonna get the jeans you know i mean 10 percent discount was like 24 euros which is basically nothing um but you know i really wanted the jeans so i just got them anyway but right now they're in the tailors so i don't have them with me right now but you'll see them on the try on and yeah they're super cute i got them in my normal size which is 25 however i think you might have heard on my other videos that right now i'm losing like a lot of weight so right now i'm kind of more like a 24 um so they don't completely fit me however i don't think i should have gone for a 24 because maybe the 24 would be I mean, they might be like perfect in terms of my waist, um, but I'm planning to gain more weight or at least like muscle. So I feel like 25 was pretty great. And also they're meant to be like pretty baggy. Um, I actually m like more jeans that are like a little bit more tailored on the leg and then turn baggy at the bottom. But anyway, they're super cute. So yeah, I had shown you before the test maxi skirt and now i got the jeans which could, because i just love that style and i just feel like it's an elevated version of a jean i also got something from neta porte so i don't really know why they were having discounts like everywhere i think it's like boxing day or whatever but they were having like post christmas and new year's sales like basically everywhere um and I just feel like there's always discounts going on in different places, but whatever. The thing is that I saw this dress. I don't even know how I came across this dress um, on Neta Porte. And oh my God, like you guys have no idea. A Remain Bridger Christensen dress, which I think originally was like 300 euros and I paid 130. So yeah i mean this dress is definitely worth 300 like maybe if i had seen it on the website for 300 i wouldn't i wouldn't have bought it um but i bought it for 130 and i'm telling you this is definitely worth more than 130 like euros because this is amazing look at this so basically it is like a off the shoulder style and you can see it's also like a knitted situation um but it's not like all the same color you can see it also like from the back that it's like different colors. It's like blue and like a beigey 
thing. I don't know, but I just really like that and I think it's super interesting. Also the fact that it's off the shoulder and it has thumb holes. If you know me, you know I love thumb holes basically on anything. And also, I don't know why, I'm really obsessed with like really long sleeves and it just makes it better if it actually has thumb holes because you're embracing the fact that they're like really long. So yeah, I mean, that looks amazing. And then this is how it looks from the back. Like, I just feel like there's so much detail in this dress. So it has this little buttons like running down most of the dress. And then at the back, you have an actual slit to be able to walk around in the dress. Um, I think I have already tried it on. I don't know if it's like long on me. I don't think I have to tailor it. Like I believe if I wear this with boots, I'm good to go. But I just feel like this is a perfect dress for winter. Like maybe if it's a little bit cold, you can definitely wear like a coat over it or something like that. But I just feel like this is just amazing. If you guys could feel this, you would not like, you would understand because this is amazing. The material is such good quality and it's actually like the dress is so heavy, which is why like I get the price, like the initial price. I would have definitely paid for it if I knew how good quality this dress is. But the fact that I paid 130 euros for this, like I definitely feel like it's a steal because this is just stunning and everything that I wanted. So I think now I'm definitely done with my like winter dresses collection because those two are definitely doing their job. Let's move on to something I got from Off-White. So again, they were having like discounts pretty much everywhere and it has like the Farfetch um, thing on it because I guess when you buy Off-White directly, like from Farfetch, they send it like this, but I actually bought it directly from Off-White. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm just guessing they normally send it from the Off-White store in Milan or warehouse or whatever. But yeah, I got this dress, which is so, so basic, but I just feel like it's, I don't know, I think it's cute. And it also had a discount. So if you know me, you know that I love black and you know that I have uh, quite a big obsession with black but actually one of my goals this year and like for a long time has been not to get black dresses specifically because I'm so done with black dresses like I'm not done with them it's just that I have so many black dresses that it's not even okay for me to get more so this dress was available in black and I had to convince myself not to get it um, and I got it in white even though it's see-through, but the reason why I got black, I mean white, is first of all because of what I told you of my little rule of not buying more um, black dresses because I have way too many black dresses, so this is just like a way to change it up a bit. And also because I feel like it's actually doing its thing of being off white, you know? You get it? Okay, and yeah, <laughs> this dress is actually see-through um and i knew that already from like seeing on the website you could see from the models that this is actually like really see-through um but i got it anyway because of what i told you and because i just feel like it's not the end of the world you can definitely wear something underneath like nude underwear or you can wear like shapewear under it or whatever so yeah like definitely getting the black version is more intelligent from a point of view but I just felt like I needed to change it up a bit. So yeah, that's why I got this one. Also got some skims. I love skims so much. They, I don't know if you guys saw, but they actually did like a restock of their teardrop bra. So I ended up getting it. And right now I'm only showing you one, but I actually bought two because I had to, you know? <laughs> so the thing is, I had ordered this before in a size 36B because um, I have read the reviews and it said that the this part, I don't remember <laughs> the name, it said that it run small, so you had to size up. The band size, that's the name. So I sized up, um, but not on my cup size, but it didn't fit me. So I, and I felt like I could have definitely gone for my size. But anyway, I also felt like the cups weren't fitting me either and maybe it's because right now i'm like losing a lot of weight so you know the girlies have shrunken a little bit so uh, right now i'm kind of in between a b and an a cup which is so weird so like 
yeah i just ordered the bra in two sizes so this is the 34a and i also got it in 34b and now the reason why i kept both is because they actually both fit me which is so weird i just feel like um the 34b is giving me more like a natural look um in terms of like the push up and everything because it's actually not really pushing up many things and this one maybe because it's a little bit small for me or it just fits me right um it just it's a little bit more supportive and a little bit more intense in terms of the push-up situation but yeah so i got the bra in two sizes in two different colors but the other one is in the wash because i have worn it non-stop and then i also had to get this um i don't remember the exact name of this um I will pop it on the screen but i had gotten something from this collection before and i just fell in love with this material so i felt like it was a really good idea to get also long sleeve version so maybe this long sleeve is not like the most winterish situation if you're living like in a really cold place because it's really thin like even though it's like double layered i just feel like it is quite Thin, so it's not gonna cover you that much from the cold however if you want to do like layering i feel like this is perfect and i only got it in this like really dark brown color which again i'll pop on the screen the name of this actual color um because i buy a lot of black so i just wanted to change it up a bit and actually get it in another color but i'm so obsessed with it that i'm actually thinking of getting it in black as well i might i might so yeah that's what i got from skims and now finally let's go into the last thing and i'm sorry if i'm speaking super fast it's just that i don't want to make the video too long okay i'm almost done so the last thing that i got i actually ordered a lot of makeup so in here we have actually two things i have claran and i have sephora so i think i'm going to show you sephora first so i got the clinique um high impact waterproof mascara which is the one that i'm wearing right now actually um and i have to be real honest with you i have tried clinique mascara i think it's not this one i think i tried on the one that was not waterproof and i was obsessed with it because even though it was not waterproof it didn't ruin your makeup like if it didn't like smudge like if you cried or something or if you went into the water or whatever even though it wasn't waterproof it didn't go all over your face it actually kind of decomposed like it turned into i don't know how to say it, like small pieces so actually when you took it off and everything it didn't make a mess on your face like all mascaras do that kind of just like turned into little balls i don't know how to explain it but this time i got the waterproof version and i wasn't really a fan and as I was saying, it's proving my point that I have to wear waterproof mascara just because my lashes tend to go down. This one actually brought them down even though it is waterproof. Like once it like um, dried, I just curled them again. But anyway, like the first time that I put it on, it actually brought them down. And I don't know, it's just not giving me the lashes that I expected or the kind of look that I like. So my point is not to spend so much money on like expensive waterproof mascaras just go for like supermarket ones so i got that i was a little bit disappointed then i also got a replacement of the bum bum cream because i love this thing and it makes me so happy and it just makes me feel so much like a bougie girl and then i also wanted to try out the tarte um thingy because i don't know i didn't want to buy the charlotte tilbury one i don't really know why um, I do have the bronzer from Charlotte Tilbury, but I actually left it in Mexico because on the plane it exploded and yeah, like it kind of got all over my makeup and I didn't want to bring it back and then exploding again, so I just left it in Mexico. But anyway, I got the Tarte version and this, well, this is blush, but I got it in the shade Berry and I am actually wearing it today. As you can see, like my makeup right now is not makeuping. I didn't wear oh that's why it's looking so bad i didn't wear um setting spray but whatever um i don't know if this is the actual shade of this thing again you know the light right now is not really doing its thing i think this is kind of a mixture between the actual color of the blush and my bronzer because i put it on kind of on top of my bronzer so maybe it's a little mixture um but yeah i was kind of scared of getting this shade because i saw a girl using it her shade was really similar to mine 
However, it is promoted on like darker skin tones. So I was kind of scared that this color was more for darker skin tones, but I feel like it's definitely buildable and that if you don't put a, like too much, it's fine. So yeah, I'm actually really happy with that. And the reason why I got it is because I'm trying to do like more natural looks. And this one kind of already has highlighter in that. I don't know how they do it, but it kind of already has highlighter in it because it has little like sparkles on it. I don't know how to explain. Um, but yeah, I just feel like this is really cute for doing like a really natural makeup. So that's why I got it, even though I don't need more blushes. I also got this from Sephora, which is a brush cleaner. I'm gonna try it out and see how it works. And then from the YouTube video that I was watching, <laughs> from the girl that did the Tarte thing, I saw her wearing Summer Fridays. Um, I had never seen this brand before, um, and I thought they weren't gonna sell it on Sephora Italy. However, they did, so I just got it, and I'm super happy. So this is the shade Cherry, and I think it is beautiful i actually wore this today i'm not wearing it right now but i wore it today and this is so freaking pretty also the packaging is just like stunning and i feel like the actual size of this thing is like so freaking good i just feel like normally with lip balms they sell like really small amounts i don't know how to explain it like they are normally like this size and this one just feels like bigger so i feel like you're getting what you're paying for and yeah, I mean, this is really, really cute. I kind of forgot that I ordered this and I have to order from Clarin. I really, really have to order their like um, lip, lip, whatever things. So I ended up also getting the SOS Lashes Serum Mascara. So again, if you know me, you know that I love my lashes and I love to take care of them. I already use like a lash serum pretty much every single day. However, I saw this and I thought that it would be like, you know, it's always good to take even more care of your lashes. So I just got this, which they promoted as you can wear it on its own or you can also wear it like under your actual mascara and that it will give you just like a little, um, you know, like no makeup makeup look. Um, for me, it actually doesn't really work because my lashes are like already black so it's not giving more like color or anything like that and also if you look at the consistency and the color you can see that it's actually like brown but it doesn't paint my lashes brown or anything it just like gives them the coat of the nourishment or whatever it does um and yeah i normally use um like transparent mascara under my actual mascara so that the curl lasts longer um and i tried doing that with this um, and I'm gonna try doing that from now on. Maybe it works, maybe it doesn't, but if not, I'll just wear it to like the gym because, you know, a little nourishment is always good for your lashes. And then I also got the Wonder Perfect 4D Waterproof Mascara. This one I have yet to try and it will be kind of the battle of the mascaras because now I have this one from Clarin and I have the other one from Clinique. So yeah, but basically I just feel like I kind of, just lost my money because i'm not i don't really stand for like expensive mascaras i just feel like drugstore mascaras do their thing so good that you don't actually need more than that and you don't have to spend so much money on mascaras but anyway i just really wanted to try them out um so i also got that and now for the actual reason that i made this order so i got the lift perfector and i got it in two shades so I got it in the 24 and 25. So 24 is Fuchsia Glow and 25 is Mulberry Glow. And I also wanted to get like the pomegranate. And so I was between the pomegranate or the Fuchsia Glow, but I just felt like the shades were too similar, at least for me. So that's why I, I ended up going for the 24 and 25 shades. So this is what the first one looks like. So it's kind of like a reddish. I haven't actually used this yet. I think I'm gonna wear it on my TikTok. So if you wanna check that out, but this is like what the applicator looks like. And then to change it up a little bit, I got the other color, which is this. And I'm just hoping this is not like too dark for me because sometimes when colors are too dark on my lips, I don't really like how it looks. Um, but yeah, that's what I got. And I just wanted to tell you that 
I got four items from Clarins and I spent like a hundred euros on this and they sent me nine gifts which I actually got to choose some of the gifts inside so amazing I just love Clarins so much if you're gonna buy Claran, you have to buy it from their website and also become a member. And they give you points, they give you gifts, like it's just amazing. And they also give you a discount. So yeah, I mean, obviously this is not sponsored, but Claran, amazing. And I just love their gifts. Like there was a long time when I didn't even shop Claran because I just lived from their freaking gifts. Yeah, like they're so good. Okay guys, that was a lot and I'm really sorry if the video was really long, but I hope you guys really liked it and I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Please give it a thumbs up if this is your kind of video and if you enjoyed the unboxing, let me know which was your favorite thing and thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you on the next one. Bye!